Hey, how you doing? JJ here with Deluxe Vehicle Detailing and Paint Correction in beautiful Largo, Florida. And uh, today on the uh, 2nd of March, I do mean it's beautiful. It is uh, cooled down some. We were in the high 80s. Uh, now it's a beautiful day. It was a great day to wash the Honda off today. Uh, I will say that this car is filthy. Um, I'm going to uh, pick the uh, tripod up and try and get you a little closer look at how dirty this car is. And uh, I'm going to compare today uh, pre-treating with ONR out of the solo hand pump. I'm also going to hit the other half of the car. This is going to be the water half. This is going to be the pre-treat of ONR. I've got the hose set right now that it's very similar into the uh, spray that's coming out of the Solo. So there'll be no pressure wash action, no real water flow. Uh, as soon as I get done with this side with the uh, ONR, I'm going to uh, uh, hit the water side, uh, give it just a moment. I'm going to then spray off in that direction uh, the ONR. So as little cross-contamination. I would have liked if my uh, saran wrap would have stayed uh, flat. I could have probably put a little water on the car. It would have stuck, but uh, I was trying to keep everything uh, uh, very separated um, and uh, not any, you know, oh, this had water on it first or something. Uh, anyway, this is just straight up. This is uh, something I'm kind of curious about. Will the ONR emulsify the dirt. Uh, emulsification being uh, just uh, uh, breaking down larger particles into smaller particles, emulsifying them. Uh, will it encapsulate the dirt? Will the polymers somehow magically lift the dirt and pollen and love bug splatter and everything that's on this car? It is really dirty and uh, it's probably a month since I've washed it. <laughs> there I go. Uh, yeah, I'm a detailer, my car's filthy, um, and I take this to clients' houses with my personal training business so they see it, and I'm, I'm, I've been letting it purposely for this <laughs> very moment. Trust me, I usually don't wait a month between, between car washes, but uh, I will say that uh, it, uh, it is really dirty, and uh, our trees are releasing pollen right now, uh, fierce as well as probably all the other plants um, but I've got a lot of oak trees around and uh, uh, I'm gonna wash this and it, it'll look all yellow in, in two or three days it's kind of a waste but uh, I've got my ONR already uh, here in the bucket uh, this is the wash and rinse the blue ONR I've got my camera on auto for the first time today I'm gonna take you around I don't know how well this will come out um, but uh, I am uh, I am learning <laughs> more and more about the Nikon. Uh, I think it is a D3200 camera. Uh, this is also uh, the other day I posted a uh, ONR wheel cleaning video, and I put the same 16 ounces of ONR in this. They're a little drippy today. This are, these are not microfiber. These are some old uh, shop towels. I've got four of them. I'm going to uh, clean the wheels and tires. Uh, because this car just needs a, a good a good clean uh, uh, regardless of anything that I'm filming today um, and uh, and I just want to I want to see I want to show you quick and uh, then I'm gonna get back to uh, doing the whole car you don't need me to you don't need to see me wash my car but uh, I would like to uh, show you this straight up little experiment whether uh, I can uh, after applying the the ONR and after doing just a little water spritz you know, give it a moment to soak in. I'm going to take the hose. I'm going to pretty good stream of water this way, then a pretty good stream of water this way, and see if there's any comparisons. Okay. So uh, first off, I'm going to just kind of bring you in on just the dirt and filth uh, that's involved with this car, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. So. You can probably pick up on the camera as I go up the windshield the amount of filth. Uh, I'm going to show you the uh, side mirror here. You can probably pick up on just how filthy this car is. 
There are some spots along here that are disgusting. It's a little sunny. The screen is a little hard for me to see. Hey, there I am in the camera. Here, I like to do one of these every time. Hey, everybody, it's JJ. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, this car is disgusting. I wish I could get a really nice shot of how much pollen and filth is all over the place. I think you get the general idea. I did a little practice here. There's a nice bird poo. Let's see how this autofocus works for me here. Uh, anyway, I think you get the general idea. This side of the car, probably a little harder to see because it's the shady side and that will be uh, my O and R side. Um, anyway, you're gonna just have to trust me a little bit on how my uh, viewpoint of this is. Uh, I've washed tens of thousands of cars. I think you're gonna have to just trust me a little bit on, on how it is. Okay, I've pumped this up 40 times. I've uh, down to, oh, I don't know, maybe a uh, third of this. I think this is uh, 64 ounces, 24 li 20 liter. Uh, but I believe it's a, a half gallon and uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot this It's a little bit of course the wind picked up didn't help my saran wrap any This is kind of a spritz. Okay, it's not it's not really a uh, stream It's more of a showery with a moth But I'm getting, uh, I'm getting full coverage here. I know I'm probably kind of far away from you right now in view. I'm just gonna kind of work my way down from top to bottom and get back in here. At this moment, I'm thinking I'll probably try high speed <laughs> on the editing for the first time. So we don't spend too much time watching me hopefully encapsulate dirt. All right. I am almost done with this side. What's nice about this solo sprayer also you can lock it in and it just keeps spraying. It's nice. Coming back over everything. Bang. Hit the side of my car. But if you do hit anything, now you don't want this to dry. The sun was not out before, and I thought this was going to be a perfect. Time. If you do hit the side of your car though, you can uh, see here that it's kind of protected. The nozzle is uh, more recessed in. So uh, uh, anyway, if you do hit the car, you're just hitting it with this little plastic directional cap, which also helps keep the misty type of spray like I'm using, uh, you know, concentrated in this area here. It's kind of nice. All right. Now, Further ado, I'm going to spray this. It was a little about a 
about the same spray. Again, something that I would call kind of atomized. The hose here has a little more, uh, a little more volume, so I can go quicker, but I, I actually think I'm getting the uh, exact same amount of just plain old tap water compared to the ONR. I now have a wasp sitting right on my driver's uh, side mirror there. Get the wheels down. And one last little spray down. Okay. Just any spots. Okay. So the O and R side. Uh, I got everything wet. It is starting to dry just a little bit. Unfortunately, the sun just came out on me. Can't do anything about that. Uh, I think I got pretty much equal uh, on the uh, on the O and R side as far as just volume of liquid as I have on the uh, hose side. Uh, like I said, it was coming out a little faster out of the hose. I just went a little quicker. Tried to balance it all out. This is not a uh, scientific experiment. Still wet uh, on the ONR side here, but it is starting to dry up. So I'm going to use what I'm going to call just a you know medium uh, jet spray. I'm not going to you know put it on. Uh, high uh, high volume um, I'm not going to you know try and shoot it with a really hard stream of water I just basically want to spray off this way and then I'm gonna come on this side and spray off this way and uh, we're gonna see if we can tell any kind of difference or not So, just a nice stream Okay, so pretty sure I went up and down kind of three times over the hood, once, twice, and then I went back again, hit the sides decent. Uh, I can tell you just at first glance, you know, still a lot left here. Uh, a lot of dirt did flow off that. Okay, so let's go this side. Sorry about that. I goofed that up a little bit. All right. I don't think I. Uh, I don't think I affected things. I got a little lost in my thoughts. <laughs> Just started hosing off the car. But really. <laughs> All right, 
even if that wasn't scientific. And I got a little lost in my thoughts. Basically, the car was hosed down. Um, I did go, uh, I did go all to the one side and kind of, you know, take the ONR off that side. So uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove the, uh, the plastic. Just to give a little better idea of how that all went. All right, let's go take a look. Okay, so let me pop out here a little bit just so you can see what I see here. So. I think that probably is showing up okay. That I've got the dirt line down the center here. This side, I'm gonna tell you, looks just a tiny bit better. This is the ONR side. Just a tiny bit better than regular old tap water and a light rinse, okay? Did we remove some dirt? Yes. Am I impressed with the encapsulation effect and the emulsifying effect of the pre-treat? I gotta say, not really. Um, top the car here. Take you a little sideways. Sorry about that. I don't know how that will affect things in the filming. <laughs> uh, but ignore my big tape line there where I pulled my paint off, please. All right, let's see. We are looking at some pretty decent uh, dirt left. There is some sort of a uh, bumper paint problem, all this nonsense here dealerships like well we'll film that we'll get back to you um, looks like a lot of that polony haze is still all over no matter which side I look at I will say it looks a little thicker on the uh, on the non ONR side I can see where kind of the, the rinsing effect has come down and it kind of is down to here on this side it's a little higher. Maybe the windshield wiper had a little bit to do with that. Probably did, but anyway, it, uh, it looks a little different. It's a little different, not much. The rest of it, here we are on the O&R side. Uh, I can tell you the side of the car. It's, it's picked some of it up. It certainly hasn't impressed me in any way, shape, or form with uh, emulsifying and dissolving the particles and letting them lift and the polymers encapsulating everything. Uh, I really don't see it. So, sorry about kicking my stand here. I think it's a, think it's a, real, uh, it's a real pain in the ass to uh, disconnect that camera and, and, uh, and jerk it all around and stuff. So, uh, try and do as little jerking around as I could possibly do. Although I did just uh, break it off with my uh, fiance after six years, and uh, well, that's another story. But anyway, uh, <laughs> here I am. I'm gonna now uh, wash this car using uh, um, sort of a Gary Di. Oh no, I don't even want to say his name. Um, he's here in my area. He's over in Tampa. Uh, I have never spoke with him. I, I plan on speaking with uh, Gary Dean. Um, I use a, a hybrid form of his washing. I think I'm gonna come out with the, the JJ, uh, you know, uh, uh, rinseless car wash system. Um, but uh, anyway, I've got a bunch of stuff I'm gonna do with O&R soon, so keep, uh, keep tuned with me. I appreciate the likes. Uh, I do like the comments. I'm 